Hello, all my naughty ones, and welcome back to Dr. Zoe Today. I have with me tonight the princess of hip-hop. She's recorded her first track at seven years old, went on to be the youngest act signed to Missy Elliott's label, the youngest to be affiliated with Slip and Slide Records, which is home to rappers Trina and Rick Ross. You may know her from her single that Beyonce featured on her website, Marilyn Monroe, and damn, she looks hot in that. Check that out. And one of her mixtapes. She has many mixtapes where she's collaborated with a lot of multi platinum artists, or even recently as a cast member on T.I.'s reality show, Sisterhood of Hip Hop. Welcome to the show, Brianna Perry. How are you? Hey, what's up? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. You have been in the game for so long. It's like, dang, girl, you are only 22 and you've done so much. It's crazy. But before we get started tonight, I want you to give out um, your social media sites so my listeners can keep up with everything that you're doing in your career. Yes, you can definitely um, follow me on Instagram at Brianna Perry. You can hit me on Twitter at Brianna the YRB. You can check out my official site, BriannaPerry.com. You can even find me on iTunes. A lot of those records she was just talking about are there, available right now, and on Google Play. Yes, your girl, Brianna Perry. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so tell me how this all got started. So you were born in Miami, right? <laughs> yes, born and born and raised in Miami, Florida, Day County, uh, 305. And like mm. you said, man, I got in the booth for the first time when I was seven years old. I was so young. <laughs> and uh, the, in, the independent label that I'm still signed to now, Po' Boy Music Group, they're pretty much, you know, that's my family. That That's my home. Even if I wasn't an artist right now, I'd probably have a job working at Po' Boy. So, okay. Um, so is that like, <laughs> is that like literally family? Because, I mean, you were seven. So, like, what was the connection there? Was somebody related to somebody or what? What was Yeah, the story like my, my uncle who um, passed away two years ago, um, rest in peace to him, we were extremely close. Like, he was just that uncle who just spoiled me and we spent Aww. so much time together. And he he was best friends with the, um, you know, the founder of Po' Boy Music Group, who was E-Class. So, um, you know, he... E class became my uncle too and you know, they, they grew up with my, my mom and my uncle and they all went to school together and they were always so close. So you know how that is. Like they yeah. they were family. So, so when you were like a kid, you're like hanging out at the studio. You're like yeah. you're like chilling at the studio. So yeah, like what what happened anyway. so like what happened when you like how did it lead up to you getting in the booth when you're seven years old? Was, like I was I was yeah, I was like always really active and I always loved performing and entertaining. Like I used to um yeah. part, always participate in like spelling bees and, and school plays and anything where I can get Were you rapping were you rapping the spell at the spelling bee like this is how you spell this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you were like and doing I, it in like spoken word. <laughs> yeah. And I see and I, I participated in like oratorical contests and poetry contest, and I, I would win, and I was competing with, uh, mm. it went up to 12th graders. So I used to compete in that, but I, I always just had a knack for entertaining. Like I went to a performing arts uh, summer camp here in Miami, the Cultural Arts Center. So um, I just loved to, to imitate what, what I was around. So at yeah. the studio, I would see them, it was like, oh, they're going in the booth. I can do that, too. I was just always a sponge and in the yeah. way. I literally begged them to let me go in the booth. <laughs> I, I beg them. So I beg. as a kid, when you're only seven, how yeah. like were who were your musical influences? Were you like checking out like the latest and the greatest, or were you kind of like more in tune with like what was right there around you? I would say um, a good mixture of both. Like, and I don't think I'm so blessed to have. I was around like such talented people like Rick Ross and, and Trick, yeah. and I I admired them as people too. So it's like I feel like anything that they did, I kind of just would have took to it because they were just I don't know like little superheroes to me. I I love these people. I felt like they were um so empowered and, and so bossy, and I loved how they were in control of what they were doing in the studio. Those, those right. were their words, and they would go in and tell the engineer, put this, I, I just was always very intrigued by that, and they always seemed like, um, you know, self, self-made self bosses, like, they're, this is our business, <laughs> we own this building, like, I just, I, I was like, I love this that. is it. I love that, self-made bosses. I always say self-made millionaires or self-made multimillionaires, but self-made bosses, that's what